This is one of the craziest days in AI I've ever seen. AI can be used to make custom tailored deadly viruses and cause pandemics. Quantum computing is knocking at our door and coupling it with AI will be just crazy. And large language models may soon gain long-term memory capabilities, which will open up an entire new door of possible features and use cases. You're watching the AI report, the fastest, most relevant AI news delivered straight to your brain every day. One guy here, no days off, no weekends, no sick days, no holidays, just AI news trying to figure out this entire AI mess together. Like and subscribe if you think that's valuable and let's get into it. AI can make it easier for anyone to create custom tailored viruses and pathogens and even start pandemics of their own. So, MIT researchers asked undergraduate students to test whether chatbots could be prompted to assist non-experts in causing a pandemic and found that within one hour the chatbots suggested four potential pandemic pathogens. Jesus, one hour and four pathogens? That's insane. The chatbots helped the students identify which pathogens could inflict the most damage and even provided information not commonly known among experts. Wow. The students were offered lists of companies who might assist with DNA synthesis and suggestions on how to trick them into providing services. What the? What's going on here? This is arguably the strongest case against open sourcing AI, in my opinion. I'm already picturing some sort of a hateful individual designing a virus that only targets, say, the loud-mouthed black-bearded YouTubers who talk about AI every single day. That would suck. Seriously though, this is a very frightening scenario. I can't think of a good way to defend against this. Maybe something like an ultra-utopian world where all diseases are eradicated and we are all immune to every possible disease thanks to AI. Or maybe like each of us having their own personal AI that can come up with cures and vaccines on the spot. It's a messy thing, no doubt about it. Intel will start shipping 12 qubit quantum processors to a few universities and academic research labs. First of all, 12 qubits is still not a big deal, it's not a lot of computing power. However, technology and very specifically processing power is subject to Moore's law. Which, for those of you who actually had a social life in high school and now you don't know what Moore's Law is, it simply means that technology gets better, faster, stronger and cheaper as time goes by. And compared to regular processors, quantum processors are orders of magnitude faster. Okay, how is this related to AI? Well, I'm glad you asked. Advancements in AI pretty much come down to two things. Data and computing power. We already have entire oceans of data, or rather Google and Facebook do, and the biggest challenge to making godlike AI is the laggings and processing power. And when that stops being a problem because of quantum computers, when we plug AI into quantum computers, I guess we'll finally see if we get to live in a kumbaya utopia where we all love each other and don't have to work unless we feel like it, or, you know, Skynet meets the matrix type of scenario. Well, AI will certainly get smarter over time one way or another, but for now, humans are still finding ways to outsmart it. People are using AI to automate responses to site that pays them to train AI. So, for those of you who've never watched one of those Boob, how to make $4,000 a month on the internet type of videos, Amazon's Mechanical Turk is a platform where people can complete small tasks like data validations, or transcriptions or surveys to earn a little bit of money. Well, researchers at Ecole Polytechnique Federale de la... No, 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 hold on, hold on. I think I should read this with my favorite French accent. So, Ecole uh, Polytechnique Federale de Lausanne in Switzerland have found that a significant number of mechanical Turk workers are already using large language models to automate their labor. I just love little digital outlaws like this. I mean, people pay money for these jobs to be completed by humans and using AI for this is not cool, but at the same time, 
it's kind of cool when you find ways to game a big system like Amazon. You get like this kind of stick it to the man type of vibe. Also, gaming the system may soon become the only option for a lot of people as many employees may lose their jobs because of AI and this is actually becoming real now. So, Chick-fil-A and Alpharetta Atlanta are testing AI-powered delivery robots. This sounds like bad news for delivery people. However, I think we've seen this kind of story play out before since I think Amazon tried to automate delivery with drones a few years ago and regulatory setbacks and interventions prevented their efforts. I'm not sure how this particular Chick-fil-A restaurant has pulled this off and it may not be entirely legal, but let's see how this develops. Researchers from Microsoft and the University of Santa Barbara propose LongMem, an AI framework that enables LLM to memorize long history. As you may or may not know, even the most advanced AI chatbots like ChatGPT can only take input of up to a certain length. And you can still use several prompts to add more input, but this way of functioning is still limited as the chatbot doesn't really have long-term memory. It doesn't really learn from your own specific actions and adjust itself based on your input. If that were possible, a whole other world of features and possibilities would open up for AI. Well, the proposed long mem framework should enable language models to cache, to keep in memory long-form prior context or knowledge which will kind of give LLM superpowers and we will likely start seeing a lot more new applications. Exciting stuff. I found this interesting poll on Reddit. Will we reach an AI plateau in the next months or by 2024, I guess? You can vote yes, we will reach a plateau soon. No, the takeoff is already unstoppable or we're already at the plateau. Out of the almost 500 people that have voted, Almost two out of three think that the takeoff is already unstoppable, including yours truly. I'm curious what you guys think about this. Let me know in the comments. This video on Facebook is kind of going viral. Uh, so a person was caught on a security camera stealing stuff from some street artist kids in the Philippines. And the internet rose to the occasion. Social media users used AI to sharpen and enhance the image of the thief, sent the pic to the kids, and they gave it to the police. The authorities were able to recover the bag, although one cell phone was missing. The suspect is identified, but still at large. Mm, I don't know. Obviously, it's great if douchebags like this guy get caught, but it's still an AI-generated image. It can very easily be inaccurate, and the wrong person might easily get punished even when innocent. Jeez, nothing is simple with AI. A study finds that a new AI autopilot algorithm can help pilots avoid crashes. Researchers at the MIT have developed a new algorithm that can help stabilize planes in low altitudes. Okay, good. This is actually just good news and has no associated downsides I can think of. So my previous point is now void. Some things are just simple and usually good when it comes to AI. Amazon is experimenting with using artificial intelligence to sum up customer feedback about products on the site, with the potential to cut down on the time shoppers spend sifting through reviews before making a purchase. So instead of reading all 9000 reviews for that adult diaper, you will only read one giant blurb of AI generated text. But, but won't this remove the incentive for people to write reviews on Amazon? Oh wait, those people already don't have an incentive. I never truly understood people who write Amazon reviews, especially the long ones. Like, you know that you can do the same thing on a blog of your own and actually earn money for it? Elon Musk didn't think anyone would agree to the AI pause he called for. Well, why do it then? Dude, Elon, buddy, let me tell you something. One famous internet person to another. People out there worship you for some reason. They will sell their grandma for a retweet of you. Or they will buy an overpriced, inefficient, ridiculous car just to impress you. Of course they will do what you say. You know, all those billions in achievements finally make you someone worthy of listening to. Use your powers for good, young man. Actually, in all seriousness, I think Elon had a point. We should slow down AI and find ways to regulate it first. I mean... It is kind of a douchebag move to suggest everyone stops AI while he starts his own X.AI company, but nonetheless, we should be more careful with AI.
And finally, some heartwarming news. AI may help us understand animals. All right, Dr. Doolittle is in the AI house. But does this mean that the weird cat lady from my building will finally be able to understand that she loves her cats a lot more than they love her? I honestly hope not. That would make her a lot more depressed. All right, usually Sundays are slow when it comes to AI news, but this was a crazy day full of tons of AI developments. Some of them scary, many of them exciting, and that's the way it is. This was the AI report. Thanks for watching. I just want to remind you that I'm flying solo here. One guy doing all the research, writing, shooting, editing, publishing, trying to make sense of it all, struggling with accents and pronunciations. So if you like the fastest and most relevant AI news delivered straight to you, prepared nicely in a warm soup bowl, ready for you just to consume, then hit the subscribe button and I will see you tomorrow.